got an email from Michael saying that everything Halloween was 60-70% off and then you could take an extra 20% off. So I told my wife, let's go and we'll just look, right? So here we are looking. Good news and bad news. Bad news, this was supposed to be a tutorial. The bad news is that I was supposed to set up a time lapse over there in the corner. And uh, I set it up last night for our next tutorial. And I went to check this evening about 16 hours after, no, what, like 36 hours after. And when I went to play it back, that camera did not record. So I had to redo it and it set me back about two days. So. That's the bad news. The good news, I'm in my new studio. It's not all the way done yet. Well, actually, none of it is done except that I moved here. I cleared all the kids' stuff out. But anyway, when I figured that thing wasn't uh, working, I set it up to work and now it is working, but now it left me a bunch of time. So I said, you know what, let's go out to dinner with my wife and uh, we got an email from Michael saying that all their Halloween stuff is on clearance. 60% off, sometimes 70%, and then in addition you'll get 20% more off. And I said, let's go and we're just going to look, you know, just to burn some time while this time lapse works. Anyway, sorry, my dog is decides to shake at the most inopportune times. But anyway, uh, while this time lapse works, I said, let's just go look at the Let's go look and see what Michaels has on clearance. Uh, and we went there and just to look and uh, slim pickings. But guess what? We bought a couple of things. Now most of this stuff is not mine. Some of it is my wife's and I'll try to explain what she wants to do with it. But uh, some of them I have no idea. Just we got like a bag or two. Some of the stuff is for the studio, so that's a heavy one. Jeez, man. One more. Now, while we're at it, let's just go ahead and add the stuff that I got from the Dollar Tree. All right, let me rearrange this so you can actually see me, and we'll see what we got. Okay, let's get started. Looks to me like looks to me like that uh, like scrapbooking paper, but it's Halloween. That's pretty cool. This is my wife's. I might steal some of it for sure. And I'm just here for the booze. Now I got this for me just because I'm spoiled. It's a it's like a mason jar, but not really. It has a straw. I'll drink my juice every morning on this thing. Gummy. Looks like gummy pumpkins and ghosts and everything Halloween. See that? No, I got these. These are uh, ornaments, like pumpkins, for my uh, for my horror Christmas tree. Okay. Oh, it's more of that paper, like the big one, but smaller. And some fangs. Those are fangs to make some ice cubes. So whether you have an adult beverage or just some lemonade or tea, get some fang ice cubes for the, Christ for the Halloween party. 
Cool. Right, that's one back only. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven to go. Very good shape. See that pumpkin? No, that's the back. Let's try this again. See that pumpkin? Okay, so this is for the studio. Uh, my wife said that she would use them on the front of the house, on each side of the door, during Halloween. But after that, they'll be like in one of these shelves. Those shelves are not going to be there. We're going to remove all this and put uh, either a whole shelving system or a whole storage system from uh, Ikea, perhaps. And I'll do a video when we go. So I got two of these. So that's another bag over there. So looks just like it. And this one as well. Same thing. Yeah, so it's a uh, ceramic. You can put some candles in them and they'll glow. So I don't know if this one's for the house or for the studio, but anyway, I'll put some uh, fake candles and we'll have some uh, pumpkins. Let's see if I can explain it correctly. My wife is gonna make a wreath for the door, for the front door. So she got this thing. And when she gets it done, I'll show you how, how it turned out. She's really good at this stuff. She just doesn't like to be in camera. So she got like this orange wreath. So that, and some sticks that appear to be leaves and branches. So they were feathers, but they're like black leaves and black branches. I think all that goes with the wreath. Let's see what's in here. Ah, yes, these are mine. These are beakers. These guys were like 60% off. That's a good deal because they ended up being only like uh, about two dollars each. So uh, whether you do like a creepy jar with an insect in it or something like that, or you make a, a cocktail and drink out of it during your Halloween party, these are perfect. I love these guys. I also bought a bunch of test tubes last time, last year. Ah, yes. So we have this little uh, haunted house. It's supposed to have a light, but it does have a battery right now. So that little haunted house goes in a uh, black pumpkin and an orange pumpkin. And uh, I think what my wife is going to do is going to do like a little diorama in there with a haunted house and, uh, and a bunch of other things that she bought on that one. And on this one, she's doing something uh, from uh, Dia de los Muertos or Day of the Dead. And it'll be like, uh, I'll show you in a second what she got for this. So these two go with that little house. Ah, these are for the studio. See that? They are bat candle holders. I got two of them. Got my two candle holders. And those will be somewhere on here in the studio. We have more? Of course. Yeah. Ah, here's all the little stuff. So since I kept buying those little solar figures that move. Well, now it's an addiction, so I found this one. It's a skeleton. And, well, this one is another skeleton. A skeleton? Yeah. Got a skeleton and they are like solar powered, so they just sit there and dance. I'm gonna put those on the shelf, or maybe like on the windowsill right there. That's some trees, and that goes with that diorama thing in the pumpkin. I got me a uh, crow's garland with light. And that's gonna be for here in the studio. When we set it up, I'll show you. Some Halloween stickers. My wife said you need to be like all the way monster tutorial. So she bought me a bunch of orange and black folders for my business files. And, uh, and then she got the stickers, and she's going to decorate all my files with stickers. So that should be interesting, to say the least. It'll be very Halloween for sure. Ah, bats. So who doesn't like bats, right? See? Little bats. We can hang them from the ceiling or something. See that? It's like my mustache. I grow in water pumpkin. Because who doesn't love those growing water things? So maggots and worms. Ah, here's the couples for the Day of the Dead. So that's supposed to be me, and that's my wife. And that goes in the black pumpkin. And a fountain for that black pumpkin. 
for maggots and worms. You can tell what's mine and what's hers, right? Flowers, hers. An arch made out of flowers, hers. Now, oh, dollar store, yeah. One of those solar things, some bat flying. Skeleton whose head is just swinging around wildly. Love it. And finally, got this hockey mask. And the purpose of this is, uh, they only have like three left and I said for a dollar. Uh, I've always wanted Jason from Friday the 13th. I liked uh, his character. And I've always wanted to have one of the hockey masks that are made after the movie. And some of those can range from $40 to like $500 depending who makes it for you. So I was thinking like we can make our own. So I got this glow in the dark mask. And we are going to do a full tutorial turning this into a Friday the 13th Jason mask. Alright, I'm gonna go edit this video. I hope you like it. Give it a thumbs up. Make sure you share it. And while I edit it, hopefully my time lapse keeps working uh, so that I can have a tutorial for you guys. Uh, this is Halloween crunch time. Uh, we're about six or seven days before Halloween. Uh, my camping trip, where we were going to do that tent or treat that I mentioned in a few vlogs before, was canceled. So now we decided to decorate the house. So that's going to be. Uh, mad rush this week. Hopefully I'll get some video of that so you can see how the house turned out or at least the different little pieces that we're able to do. Hopefully my wife will get done with that wreath as well so I can show you what it looks like. So anyway, I'll see you next time. I'm gonna go tend to my time-lapse camera. Make sure that it's working so I can show you the cool tutorial we have coming up. I will see you next time.